Today our aim is to make a health bus system for our game similar to this one. If we decrease our health, it goes from green to yellow, then if we further decrease, then it goes to red and it shows a breathing effect. Okay. And also if we increase our health again, it changes yellow then to green. So it's it's dynamic and it's smooth. Also, I'm not using any update. Technically, I'm using update. So anyway, let's get to it. First of all, I wanted to talk about health bar. I researched on YouTube like everyone using health bar within an update. I don't know why. That's because let's consider for a second. You have 20 characters on your game, or you you need to like collect resources. You have to show a health bar on top of that. But if you use a health uh, update function on your every object, it's simply unoptimized. It's not production ready. I don't know why everyone is using it. Um, to be honest, uh, initially I was using update for health bar, but but. When I got more experienced, I understood like how to optimize that. I'll show you how you can make a really cool looking health bar. Okay, so let's start. This is our starting scene. It's just a simple scene, nothing else. So first, we are going to make a health bar, right? I mean UI. So let's take a canvas called health bar and change canvas scalar to scale with screen size now take another image it will contain our health health container okay now stretch it like so this can be our container and remove the rekas target nice i take another image just duplicate it uh, with ctrl d then let's call it background and it should take the whole space now you need a sprite for our health bar right i already have a simple square if you don't have it i will add a link for downloading this image it's, it's, it's simple it's really it's just just a square okay and i want to talk about this one if you import this you will see something similar to this one and now if you try to assign it it won't work you have to convert it to sprite 2d and ui okay uh, uh, that's because it's a beginner tutorial uh i will try to explain as much as i can but some uh, some things i do automatically that's because uh, you know it's it's something that i do every time but if you are a beginner you don't know how to do it and if something like this happen just leave a comment below i will I'll give you instruction how you can solve that. Okay. So now, assign our square to our background. Uh, so, let's take the full and our health container alpha to zero. That's because this one is just for containing our health bar, nothing else. And duplicate again and assign it to our background make it as child call it fill image and obviously we are not going to use slider i think slider why why would i want to use slider i don't know why some people use it but i don't know why and um, okay so now filled use filled then you want to go horizontal right you can go radical if you want to but because it's a square we are going to horizontal and change color to like something green okay 
now so we want to control this value from 0 to 1 right this is our aim this is our aim like if the player gets a hit like damaged it goes from like this and like this like this so this is our ui now we have to control it with our script so let's create a script called health bar manager and delete the default methods first okay and add it to our container hello manager first we want to take our reference for our image right public image unit engine.ui and go to call it fill image fill image now assign it from here public void let's create two method first one for decreasing health and one for increasing health okay so first increase health it's going to take a float like target value uh, and copy and paste here and call it decrease health now first I told you like we are not going to use update for a we, we are not going to uh, change our value within update rather than using update we are going to use dot twin uh, twinning uh, library uh, you can say like a twinning library also uses update that's true that's actually true but it's more or less expensive than creating a update function for every health bar okay now we need to go to our package manager and go to assets wait for it to load our assets and call it dot win i'm going to use dot win that because i'm comfortable with it you know so downloaded the dot in library but if you don't just download and import now here and import i already have dot in on this project uh, i'm showing this uh, because uh, i want to show the process how you can import and integrate dot in to your project okay so now set up apply it's done so we have dot in in our project okay we want to use a method dot win provide called dot win dot two which uses a lambda f a lambda expression for getting the current value current value is first one is fill image dot fill amount and a target value for set value got this one and let's call it x and our updating the value fill image dot fill amount it goes to x and our target value and animation duration okay so this is our whole line for updating our health bar okay uh, you can see it's red that because we did uh, still not declared it so public float animation duration okay and target value uh let's call it yeah let's call it target value and we want to test it either it works or not okay uh, so let's call it from start increase health to like say 
0.5 our target is to determine either it works or not so put our value and emission duration let's call it like 0.f uh, yep you see it works and if you are not understanding like why we are using animation duration uh, that because uh, sometimes I saw uh, like say someone using uh, health bar the health bar always snaps like uh, like it's now one but if you want to go to 0.5 it snaps just one point five it snaps but it's not smoother you want to do it something similar to this one if you want to go to 0.5 then you want to go like this way, this way yeah, because it looks good you know it's smoother that's why we were we are using our dot in two now uh, as you can see it's working so let's call it here from here uh, hmm. now for our increase health and decrease health is if uh, let me show you why we made two methods now create two uh, we want to create two buttons for like just for testing purposes nothing else uh, let's call it test canvas test Keep it similar and delete everything and we're going to take button UI button text mesh pro button let's call it increase mm, it's here right so let's anchor it to corner no let's anchor it to middle and give it height to 100 and width to 200 also we need to increase the text to go like this one and it should take auto size let's call it increase and give it to 40 nice okay and take uh, just duplicate it and call it to decrease and as it decrease Let's go this way. Okay, it's okay for testing purposes. Uh, you know, the our aim is to when we press increase, we uh, we will increase our health, and if we press decrease, it will decrease our health. Okay, uh, so now let's go to our script, scope increase health and decrease health, and assign this to this method that on click we want to assign health container then go to no function to health bar manager to decrease health and we want to decrease health by 0.1 yeah we want to increase our health so again assign and the manager increase health to point one now if we press our value so let's take another variable called it's just name it to value and our target value should be as we are increasing our health so our target value should be current fill amount plus value and for decrease it should be minus now our test system should work should be working now in uh, yeah decrease working and increase working you see it's, it's still not smooth it's snapping like something like this right so let's increase our animation duration a bit like say one second see what happens see it's it's way way looking good 
it's, it's smoother okay you see it's too much let's call it 0.2 yeah 0.2 i think works perfect so let's 0.2 now uh our next thing is our value is going from 0 to 1 but consider for a second the health value of a object can be 100 like say 50 or like say can be just 10 so we need our we need our main health to convert to 0 to 1 right so this do it now first take a float called public float total health total health health and let's say our health is 100 so we want to map it to 0 to 1 so private void calculate uh, partic health amount okay we need to now so we know that our value go goes from 0 to 1 so our max value can be 1 right so now going to take another variable called per tick health and here we are going to 1f2 total health and we are going to call it from our start now let's co uh, let's call your health is 100 so part it should be 0 0.1 0 0.01 okay sorry so now whatever value you get we need to value into our particle yeah so, um, this um, our increase health to point one so let's uh, our we are increasing our health let's say 10 and decreasing our health 10 so let's see what happens okay now our decrease or decrease health yeah see it's working perfectly so this is our whole health system i'm uh, sorry guys uh, uh so so i take a look on my uh, tutorial duration uh it became like 10 or 50 minutes already for making a simple uh, health bus system with dot win i want to make uh, another part but if you want to stop here like say a simple progress bar that goes from 0 to 1 and using dot win you can absolutely stop there but if you want to do more on your health bus system something similar to this one uh, says goes from decrease decrease to it changes its color again uh, from green to yellow and if you decrease your health more it goes to red color and it shows you a breathing effect so your player can notice it like say oh my health is low i need to increase it again so if you increase your health it goes to yellow and then green so this system i'll show you on the next part i hope i see you on the next part but you can stop, um, absolutely stop there anyway guys if you have any questions uh, or need further assistance please leave uh, leave a comment below i will try my best to answer that question remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching